We may only be halfway through 2023, but fashion always plans ahead, and that means that we should too. So today I'm sharing some of the fab fashion trends that are heading our way in 2024. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Leone, and welcome to my channel. Now, a lot of designers have just finished showcasing their resort collections, and Traditionally, these collections have been to give you some options of what to wear if you're escaping the winter and heading off to some tropical paradise. But over the last few years, they've been more about giving us an indication of what we can expect to see the following year. I've had a really close look at these resort collections and have picked out the 10 most wearable fashion trends that are set to be huge in 2024. So if you'd like to start next year on a stylish note, and perhaps more importantly, hold on to some of the pieces that you already own that are going to be trending next year, then this video is a good one for you to watch. Now, because I know that you guys love color and seem to be really interested in what colors are trending. Now, the biggest trending color for next year appears to be burgundy. And it seems as though burgundy is set to be our kind of new neutral, if you will. Now, as a rule of thumb, when it comes to wearing burgundy, a cooler shade of the color that contains lots of red and violet kind of tend to look best on people with pinky, olive, or even darker skin tones. Warmer burgundy shades that contain more sort of brown tones tend to be really beautiful on complexions that are peachy or golden. So there really is a burgundy for everyone. If you haven't explored this color before, then definitely give it a go. Now, if you're not a fan of dresses, you might want to skip this one, but there is a trending dress style that seems to be really popular with a lot of the designers, and that is a halter neck style dress. Now, for me personally, this is music to my ears. I actually quite like my shoulders and enjoy showing them off. So expect to see some beautiful halter neck dresses and also tops trending for next year. Now, just a word of warning, if you do have a fuller bust, sometimes a halter neck can be quite tricky for you to wear. It can tend to make your bust appear larger, but if that doesn't worry you, that's absolutely fine. If you love showing off your shoulders like I do, then a halter neck is a really good option. Anyway, at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. I've worked with Squarespace a lot over the years, and that's simply because I truly believe in what they do. I have a Squarespace blog, and it is the easiest way, in my opinion, to build any sort of online presence. It truly is. In fact, I've had a couple of friends recently that have been asking me, they wanna update their websites, they wanna make it easy. I've suggested Squarespace and they have had such a seamless, easy experience. So I can hand on heart recommend Squarespace to you. Now, if I can do a, or create a website in as little as an hour, then you can too. Squarespace has some amazing templates on offer that make the process super super easy. Now, they also have absolutely everything you need to run an online store or any sort of business that requires a online presence. So regardless of what you need to be online for, Squarespace has something for you. And today, I'm really excited to say that the Squarespace team are offering you a discount to save 10% off your first website or domain. All you need to do is whip on over to squarespace.com, take advantage of their free trial, and when you're ready to launch yourself on Online, simply use my unique URL, which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider, and my code, which is simply the style insider, and that will give you your 10% off. But if you are looking to get online this year or next, then Squarespace is definitely the best way to do it. Now, when it comes to metallics, silver has definitely been having a moment this year, and given what the designers have just showcased, it looks like silver is here to stay right through next year as well. So so whether it be silver pants, silver dresses, metallic silvery shoes and sandals, ankle boots, you name it, silver is very much a happening metal or metallic look that is going to really pick up speed as this year continues and definitely throughout 2024 as well. So if you've jumped on the metallic trend and you've incorporated some silver pieces 
into your lineup, make sure you hang on to them. Now Holton X may be where it's at in terms of dresses next year, but there's another silhouette that's really kind of upping the ante, and that is an A-line dress silhouette. Now for me personally, I've always struggled with this. I've felt that the, the A-line sort of nipping you in at the waist and then floating out was all a little bit too feminine and girly for me. But in the last couple of years, I've really warmed to this look. And I do think that it can be, it can be feminine, it can be really flattering as well, which is why I've included this particular dress trend on today's list. It is a wearable trend, it does flatter the female figure, and it's definitely a look that I think is worth considering if, like me, you've written it off in the past. Now this next trend is probably more of a mini trend, but because it's so fun, I thought I'd, in I'd include it in today's episode, and that is seashell prints. Now, I love a printed fabric, but I tend to get a little bit tired of stripes and florals, and so this particular print is just something a little bit unique, it's a little bit different. I know this year we've seen a lot of mermaid core style clothing, and so this in my mind is just sort of an extension of that and a fun way to sort of present that look, and perhaps a little bit more of a modern, easy way to do it. But if you're looking for a new fun print, then definitely give this one a go. This next trend is very exciting for me, and that is scuba fabrics. Now, I had a fantastic scuba style or scuba fabric bomber style jacket, and I wore it to death. It was just one of my favorite jackets. Loved it and kind of wore it out, basically. So I'm very excited about potentially replacing that with a little bit more of a, a modern looking style. But these scuba fabrics are easy to wear, they're very practical, they wear well, and I just think that they give a bit of a modern texture to an outfit. I love the fact that the scuba style fabric is perfect teamed with more of a sort of a sporty street style look but it kind of just elevates it and makes it look and feel a little bit more luxe. They're easy pieces to wear, so keep your eyes out for them. Now for everyone out there that is well and truly over the oversized blazers, you're going to love this trend. Now tailoring is definitely still here, it is always in fashion, just the size and the cut seems to change a little bit. What seems to be happening next year is tailoring is getting a little bit more shape. So the shoulders are getting bigger and sharper, but there's a little bit of tailoring and nipping in of the waistline. So this is a really great option if you do like tailoring or even just adding a blazer over jeans and a t-shirt. It is going to give you the option of having a little bit more shape. Now, one word of warning is just to be careful with those shoulder pads because as we all know, they won't stand the test of time. That particular size and shape of shoulder pad will be here for a good time, not a long time. So if you are looking at an investment piece, an investment tailored piece, be sure to opt for one that isn't too extreme. You don't want anything too extreme because it does run the risk of dating really quickly. But now I've mentioned sheer dressing and sheer skirts in recent videos and talked about how I don't recommend it, it's not an easy trend to wear, but what seems to be happening next year is sheer skirts are still very much a happening thing, but instead of the skirt being completely sheer, I've seen lots of designers showcasing these sheer skirts made out of very sort of tulle-like fabric or very sheer fabric, but they do seem to have a little bit of a slip underneath. So you're basically getting a hint of your legs without showing it all. I love the fact that designers have kind of pulled things back a little bit and instead of showing everything, they're just kind of giving a nod to this look which in my opinion is just more feminine, it's a little more sophisticated, and just leaves a lot to the imagination, which I always think looks good. So sheer is here, and or it's soon to be here, and I definitely think that it's being done in a a much more sophisticated way. Now this trend isn't anything new, but next year it is picking up the pace and going to be bigger and stronger than ever, and that is teddy coats. Now you know those sumptuous sort of shirling, woolly, just snuggly, cozy coats? Well, they are very much a happening thing for 2024. So if you've invested in one, definitely hold on to it, keep it, regardless of the shape, whether it's a long coat, whether it's a jacket, or whether it's somewhere in between. Teddy coats are 
super practical, snuggly, and very much a happening look for next year. And last but not least, one of the biggest trends that's going to be happening is cottage core. Now, we've seen a lot of crochet, and that is going to be sort of moving into more of a cottagey look and feel. Now, I'm trying to remember, oh, I do remember, Holly Hobby. Did anyone have a Holly Hobby when they were growing up? I was obsessed with Holly Hobby. I'll try and find a Holly Hobby something and put it on the screen here for those of you that haven't heard of her before. But whenever I think of cottage core, I think of Holly Hobby. So very much sort of Western style, cowgirl, cottage, you know the drill. But this is very much a happening trend next year. So if this suits you and suits your lifestyle, then now is a time for you to shine.